Once you have your drawing set up in whether it's your camera view or in your drawing view, there's several ways that you can manipulate or remove the marks you've created. I'm going to talk about the eraser tool, the cutter tool, as well as the scissor tool. First thing I want to talk about is the eraser tool. So if I select this and go to my pen settings here, and depending on which pen setting I'm using, right now I'm just going to use the default where it's 20 at the maximum size. I'm just going to come in and click and drag straight through part of this circle here. And I'm just using my mouse right now. And this particular one has a minimum size of five and a maximum size of 20. So if I decide to use my stylus, it works on the thick and thin as well as far as removing those marks. Next up is the cutter tool. The cutter tool and the scissor tool are very similar. If you have things that you want to use a more freehand cut for, you're going to want to use the cutter tool. For example, I can click and just drag this around. And once I let go, you're thinking, okay, well, nothing really happened. Well, here's the deal. If I go and select my select tool, if I click and drag, you'll see that I actually have that cut that we just did. So once you've actually cut something, it's not going to stay selected and you would have to use your select tool to go ahead and grab that. But while we're at it, let me show you a little shortcut. I'm going to undo this cut. Let's do Command Z and Command Z one more. So make sure this is all one solid shape. And I'm going to go back to the cutter tool. And I want to do a little cut here. And while I'm still on the cutter tool, I'm going to hold down my command key, control key on PC, and I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to select both the stroke as well as the fill. And now it's selecting just the half that we've cut. And I'm going to hold down my command key again. And this gives me my selection tool temporarily. So I can click and move this to a different area. Now, if you look, it looks like I did grab a little more. I grabbed the other part of that fill there. So let me undo this real quick. Command Z. Hold on my command key. So I have my selection tool. Click once in the camera view to deselect everything. And I'm just going to click and drag. It's that top half there. And now move that away and let go of my keyboard. And that's working with the cutter tool. Last but not least, we have the scissor tool. So let's click and select the scissor tool. And the difference between the cutter tool and the scissor tool with the cutter tool is more of like a lasso tool where you can do very freehand marks. And so we have like a little jagged way we can use the cutter. With the scissor tool, it's more of like a marquee. So if I click and drag here, it's just going to select automatically what we've cut. Now, what we can do with this, I'm going to move my pivot point down a little bit. And now I'm going to click and drag just the portion of our circle. And now I have a nice little egg shape or oval going on. So the really cool thing working with the scissor tool is once you do make that cut, what you've cut actually stays selected. So you don't have to actually switch back to another tool. So there you have it. There's ways of manipulating or deleting part of what you're creating using either the eraser, the cutter, or the scissor tool.